if you managed to catch uh, our proactive announcement on our position regarding exactly this brutal, inhumane uh, attack against the residential uh, building in Dnipro. So indeed, this is another example how, the, how Putin's regime is escalating this conflict. And as I said, the position of the European Union has always been to react to any sign of the escalation. And now we are talking about increasingly targeting civilians in their homes after Russia decided to target the critical infrastructure important for people to survive the winter, meaning energy networks, power plants, etc. So this is another sign of the regime to, that they are willing to escalate or not willing to de-escalate. And in the context of the approaching anniversary of this brutal illegal aggression, this is something the EU is uh, watching very closely. And it will be also discussed uh, at the upcoming meeting of the foreign ministers at the upcoming FAC next Monday. But then again, every reaction by the EU needs to be agreed and decided by the 27 member states. There are discussions ongoing how to handle uh, the, the continued aggression and what to do in response to the latest signs of escalation from Kremlin. Thank you, Peter. I suggest we stay with Ukraine. Should there be further questions on Ukraine? Not here.